All right, peeps, cheeps, and sheeps. You guys want to learn how to live the God life? You want to learn how to live the God life? Yeah, that's what I thought. Today I'm going to show you how to toast fish. In a toaster oven, no less. Are you ready for it, guys? Because I am, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let me give you a quick run through on how this stuff's supposed to work. So as you can see, very plainly, in plain hindsight no less, I have a toaster oven that my friend John just recently bought for me. I think it cost about 50 bucks I would think, but I wouldn't know for sure so I can't say. But anyway, there is a pea. Fish cooking in there. It's a fish fillet. It's a piece of fish. It's a fillet. It's a fillet of fish. It's a fish fillet. You get it though. So I don't even have to tell you. They tell me that in order to cook a piece of fish in a toaster oven, you've got to cook it for about 24 to 25 minutes. When and while doing so, you gotta flip it in between, meaning 12 or 12 and a half minutes, depending on which comes first. Of course, I wouldn't know that because I'm not God, now am I? I'm just trying to live for God. I'm not trying to be God, I'm trying to live for God. There's a huge difference in between people, and I think you know why. <laughs> so let's take into consideration the fact that this piece of fish has to be cooked for about 25 minutes. Because I just started the darn thing about eight minutes ago as of right now. Started that thing eight minutes ago. So, yeah, you, you can see that thing cooking, can't you? You can see it cooking? You want a better view? Want a better view? There's your better view for you. Ha ha, There's yourself a better view. And, and not just that, but... I may be doing something really cool later on in this bit, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I have to. But yeah, bottom line is simple enough. This thing's cooking, and I gotta wait about, say... I would say another four or five minutes to turn that thing over, right? Look how far that's going to get me, huh? Yeah. I'll check back with you guys in about four, and we'll see how that stuff goes. Because let me tell you, this stuff is really useful, let me tell you. Five minutes later. You know something? You're gonna need something really good to flip that darn thing. We call this one a spatula! Yeah! See that thing? It's not made out of metal like most of these other ones from these old timey, old school days from generations back. This one, this one is very, very good and easy to use. And it doesn't stick. He doesn't stick and it's not stick guy! Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna plug this over. Also, warning. If you touch any of these iron bars inside that toaster oven with your hands, you will get burned! I'm just, I'm serious. You're gonna get burned if you touch them with your hands. So, yeah, it's better to just, you know, let's just use an oven. We're good yet. In my case, let's not. I'm going to go command all this sudden. Yeah. But yeah, don't do what I'm doing. Don't do this with your bare hands, folks. Don't do what I'm doing. Leave this to me, because I'm a pro at what I do. 
not at what you do. Okay, yeah, we got that done like a boss. Woo -woo! Also, spatula for the win. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Gonna get something done here. Also, look, look, look at that. Look at how crooked I got that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, look at how crooked I got that shit. Yo, look at how crooked I got that shit. 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 Look at how crooked I got that 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 Oh! Oh! Yeah. Talk about going commando, I didn't even touch the stove. Or actually, in this case, it would be the iron bars of a toaster oven. But luckily for me, I didn't get burned. But don't do what I did, people. Seriously, just don't. It's not gonna work. You're gonna get a blister on your finger, or possibly you're gonna have your hand burnt the crap in some cases. If you expose yourself to the heated iron bar long enough, talk about a self-burning at a stake or something. Yeah. But it's it's not really gonna matter at this point because this thing's got about 13 minutes and 50 seconds left. Because technically I put the thing in for like 30 minutes when I'm really only supposed to put it for 25. But that's okay, because that includes the preheating time. So it's justified, right? But yeah, there's more than one way to skin a cat, people. More than one way to skin a cat. And you heard it from yours truly, and you can take that to your bank and cash it. That's right. And while I'm at it, I should let you know about something, people. Because let me tell you something. I don't do this for me. I don't do this for anybody. I do this for God. Because He's out there to help all of us, just like He is helping me. We're no different than He is. And He's no different than we are. We're all one and the same. We're all one with God. It's just all we got to do is realize it completely so that we can understand Him better. And it's that simple, isn't it? So simple. Easy as a piece of cake. It's easier than a cake wall. Colder than a cucumber. Well, technically, that's a death reference, but nobody cares, so... Yeah, it's, it's not going to mean anything. It's not going to mean anything, is it? Is it going to mean anything? Okay, so you can see that the thing is done, right? Well, I'll tell you what we do. It's something that's actually really, really simple and not difficult to understand. Totally not hard. Because nobody likes going the hard way on anything. Because it's just amazing. You know, but anyway, point is to be made here. There's a big, 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 big point to be made. Take this thing out. You'll see that it's completely cooked. Everything is good. And of course you get to dry that toaster oven. Because there's some sizzling stuff in there that you need to clean out up in this mother. Oh man, this is just this is gonna be fun. Yeah, let me tell you, this is fun. Let's see. We gotta clean that stuff out, don't we? Yeah, I feel like a little bit of midwinter cleaning. Up in this mother. Woo woo! Yeah. Because of reasons. And we all know what they are, so there's no need to explain any further. You know? 
But anyway, after you're done with all this, and then dry this fish, and then dry it, uh, then dry it. That way it doesn't have as much grease on it, right? I think the same would work with tilapia, or whatever the heck else. And if you don't like it, you can go with the double HE hockey sticks, man. <laughs> I went about that all wrong, but I'm okay. Because I'm entitled to be wrong at least once in life. But anyway, yeah. That's just the half of it, Rad. Yeah, it's the half of it and the half of it. Hey! I'm gonna let you in on a little tip here. How about that, huh? You want a little bit of a tip? I'll let you in on a little bit of a tip. I'm going to put it to you very plainly, very simply. Okay. Okay. So. It's, it's actually something that's quite simple. It's not, it's not hard to understand. It's not hard to read. Anyone can do this. A caveman can do this. A freaking caveman can do this. But yeah. What's really so simple about this. First you got to do this. You wet your bar of soap. You rub your hands with it. I mean, you gotta wash your hands. When you get done with all that, use that towel over there. I mean, how simple does that have to be, man? Good lord, it's first grade! But yeah. Anyway, you, you just wash your hands like so, right? Wash your hands with a with a couple of palms full of soap. You know, stuff like that. Something pretty simple to understand. It's not hard. It's not difficult to see. It's actually quite simple. You know, it's, it's, it's not hard. It's not hard, people. Then you just then you do this. You you take this towel, you take this towel and you dry it. You dry it like so, right? You dry it like so. Just like I told you before, except I'm actually demonstrating it. Right? And one, two, three. Jazz hands. I mean, you get what I'm saying though, right? But anyway, that's all I'm gonna do for this episode of Living the God Life. And until next time, I am Kevin Skull Anderson telling you to think about living the God life anytime you want to think about the good life.